All right, let's start with the, a new file here and select 2160 by 2700 pixels portrait. Now, first photo is this one, this cup here. Let's put him inside this image. We can even hold on shift and flatten it a bit like that. So he fits this whole image like that. Now, usually select and subject works to get rid of this background. But because this is all white, it might not work so well. So let's just try it here and change the background to something dark so we can see this better. And if you press right mouse on this, select the mask, we can make the edge a bit better. As you can see here, it looks pretty good. So let me first do this here around the edge. And also here. I'm actually amazed that it works so well with this one. Well, this background was also white and this fur was pretty much the same color. So this is pretty nice. That's how easy this is. Now press OK. And for the background, and foreground actually i have this image so we need to get rid of some parts here first of all let's make this really big because he's really close to this camera and now i'm just gonna make a mask here and brush some parts away so with the black brush we can get rid of some parts let's see actually we only need this kind of surface type of thing from this image all the other stuff we don't need so now we can create like he's bit on the water like that I don't need that we will create another background just this thing here and I think we can actually increase the hardness here so it doesn't get too soft on the edge let's see maybe a bit like that and I think this looks pretty good already now we need to decide how we're gonna place the surface so maybe want it like that but I think I'm gonna do him like half on the water, just like that. Now let's get rid of these here. All right, the next thing to do here is to make sure this bottom part is like blue color. So I'm just gonna go and make a selection of this bottom part, create a new layer, and let's fill this with some blue color. Let's sample this water here and do it like this. Now, of course, it has to be a little bit transparent, so we need to make sure we still see this bear here. You can also try color, also works. Let's do color here. And he already looks pretty much underwater. I'm gonna move this surface a bit down. I feel like it's ruining his face. I'm gonna do it like this, just on the bottom. And now we need to make sure this area here is also filled. So let me first copy this color here from this water and brush a bit there so it goes a bit behind him. And now if I press Ctrl J to duplicate this, I can put this behind him so it actually looks like he's in the water instead of only on the foreground. Right, so let me stretch this a bit out so it doesn't look the same, just like that. The little things here, some mistakes here, I will fix it later. All right, let's add some background here. I have some backgrounds that I can use. Let's see if this one works. I think something bluish to stay in the same tones of this image or maybe this one. So usually I try out different backgrounds until I get to one that I really like. I think this one looks fine. It's a bit too bluish, so I'm gonna rasterize this first and change the tones here with the color balance. I'm gonna make it a bit more like the color of the water. So I'm gonna move these to make it fit something like this, a bit more greenish. And now I can just blur this out because I don't wanna see the details in the background. It's all about the foreground here. So for the background, we use lens blur. And this way you can blur really out. Just find a nice radius here, something like this. All right, let's work on the lighting. The background needs a bit lighter, so I'm gonna add some curves here and make it more whitish, something like this, right? And now I can make some lighting coming from the background. 
So let me first define where I want my lighting to come from. I think somewhere here, maybe. Let's make it a bit yellowish. Just like that. And then just create a light source. Change the blend mode to screen. I put it somewhere where you want your lighting to be. Let's make this bigger. Let's do it there. And now I can brush this bear here because he's like really white. I want to have him a bit darker on one side to have some nice lighting. It's a bit complicated with with white fur to get some good lighting. So you need to play with the settings here. Let me first create a light there. So this will be the lighter part. Let's also make his head lighter here like that. And let's do it. Let's not do it there. Just make sure the eyes don't get dark because if your eyes are too dark, it's gonna, it's not interesting to look at. So I'm gonna brush a bit here. Let's make sure this light is also going in the water here. Maybe that one is too much. Just a bit there. I think this will work. And it's a bit more here. I think this is fine. And now I can do some brushing here to get some extra, extra shadows. So for this, I'm gonna do the burn tool here. Let's change the blend mode to overlay. Let's see the burn tool. And let's start off with highlights first. Somewhere in the range, I think 30 is enough. And let's do a bit more shadows here. Yes, this really white fur, so you will really see the effect of the burn tool here. So you have to do this a bit more carefully than with darker fur. I think this will work. Let's do a bit darker here. Oh. Behind this ear here, some shadows. Maybe this ear is a bit darker. Let's also do this part here and there. That's enough. And now I can switch to mid-tones and drop the exposure here to do a bit more. I can even drop this more because this fur is almost white. And I don't want to ruin the, the photo of the beer. I need to make it better, not to ruin it. That's enough. And now some shadows as last and really drop this low. Just to give that extra darker tones. And if you compare this before and after, you can see this really dark part here. I'm gonna drop the opacity here, so it doesn't get too too dark. All right, let's do another one, and this time some dodging. It's pretty much the same same method I always do. Some burn, some dodge, and you get some nice lighting, and of course the curves. Let's see. I think we can increase this. A bit there. Let's do a bit of his eye. So we get really light eyes. I think this is even too much. I need to drop this. Because if you're going to brush it and it's going to get all white, you won't see the details anymore. So we still need to see the details here. Let's try that. Maybe here a bit. Just like that. And I think this is probably enough. Maybe a bit on his face here. want to get this like his face here with this nice detail so you can see where it goes like that so something like this with nice I think this is enough maybe a bit more here let's do a bit here and now you can clearly see where he is where his face goes here all right that is enough Let's work on the background. I think it has to get a bit less colors. I think it's too bluish now. This one is also nice. Actually, I can use all these backgrounds, so I have to decide which one to use. First, let's do this one. Let's make him like this. And this already looks pretty good. All right, now let's fix this water here. Oh, I got a new mouse, so I'm 
trying to get used to this new mouse. It's kind of difficult sometimes to click when you get a new mouse. I'm gonna try another water surface here because I feel like this one looks kind of fake to me. So maybe this one will be better. So let's try this one. So usually I try out different water surfaces until I got one that looks more real. Maybe this one looks better. So let's do a bit of a brushing here or we can even use the boat. So let's see if I can brush this better. I feel like when this soft edge here makes it look fake so let's get rid of this reflection thing here and just use it like oh like that and just drop the opacity to give it a bit more look of water i think this is already a bit better and now i can brush the other one again the first one this one to make it fit this image let's see so the best way to do this is to try out different water surfaces because this will really fast look fake if you have some not good water surface. So I think this already looks better. Don't want to see those there. Just get rid of that. And this edge needs to be a bit harder. So I'm going to increase the hardness here and press it on the top side a bit harder edge than there. And I think this is already better. The next thing to do here is to add some splashes on the on the edge here with this bear. So for this, I'm just going to use some splash brushes. I have these brushes in the description of the video, so you can download these. I'm just going to use white as a color. So I want to make sure it's somewhere above here. Let's put it here first, make sure it's white. And let's create some of these splashes. So let's first do a bit here and I'm going to stretch it like that so this is just a little detail but all these little things will make it look better at the end so i'm just gonna place a couple of them here and let's use another one let's see what we have here just make sure it's not too big small splashes just like that and then we can rotate this and let's stretch it like that it has to look real and let's put this here let's see how this looks and this already made this whole image look better just gonna place a couple more oh let's do one here and just make sure it goes in the same direction as the surface of this bear so you can also use pop it warp to to change the direction of these splashes so let's do it like that this will even be better so you can exactly select the area where the, this bear is touches this water but of course it's way too light now so i'm gonna drop the opacity here I just want to have them a little bit not too much maybe also brush some parts away let's do one more let's try another one water texture just want to make sure it's like the horizontal splash and not the ones that are like really much splashes let's put this here and only thing i have to do is to just change the opacity a bit so it doesn't look too white it's a bit too white now especially the this one i'm gonna drop the opacity here slightly to make it blend better with this image just like that that's already a lot better i exported the design as a png file and opened this up in lightroom and here i'm gonna apply one of my presets and look how cool this is if you want to get these you can check the link in the description these are all in this pack so i'm gonna do a couple of these this one is really cool for lighting and this one is also pretty cool although it got a bit yellow i don't want to have them yellow so i'm gonna use this one, this one is good. The only thing I have to change here is the position of this lighting. So a bit more to the left. Let's make them a bit smaller. So it doesn't get really dark here. We still want to see the details. Something like this. I'm gonna export this as one file. And then we're gonna do another one. So let me go back here while it's exporting. 
and let's also do this one like these colors and let's move this one there maybe we can set the lighting right for this I think this will be fine I will do some extra adjustments in Photoshop just when I have the lighting right like that and also this one and open these up in Photoshop again all right so three files I actually created instead of two I did one extra I'm gonna put them above all the other layers so this one is really nice for the color and this one also and you can see here the difference it makes with these presets instead of having it like this get the re really more details here so the only thing I have to do is play with the opacity here so it doesn't affect it too much just a little bit of these this one's really cool although it gets really dark now so it really gives another mood to this image we can change it to color here let's see and this one this one is a bit yellowish so I don't like that yellow tone but we can always try to different color modes here I think this one is nice create a new layer on top of everything press command alt shift e so we have a duplicated version of everything converted to a smart object and then go to filter camera raw filter to do final adjustments to this design and here I will make it better so usually I just play around with these settings it's always different so don't want to have this highlight too much I'm gonna drop this one maybe the shadows a bit darker let's increase the whites and let's make it a bit lighter let's move on to texture let's drop the texture a bit here let's see vibrance can really make this colorful with vibrance let's increase it a bit and go to curve and let's drop the highlights a bit like that some darkers here shadows all right i'm gonna leave it like this increase the sharpening a bit some noise reduction not too much or else the fur is gonna get lost and the hue and here i play with the colors to change the mood a bit so let's see the green one let's leave it like this i don't want to have it too green it still needs to be a little bit like bluish so i'm gonna drop this slightly here like that and let's see some vignette and let's play with these here I think this is fine press ok now we can do some final adjustments here for the last step let's go to color lookup and let's try 3 step LUT to get more of these colors and let's also do some curves here and increase the highlights like that and also some color balance to get the colors right i think it's a bit too too ready so i'm gonna move this one slightly to the left just like that i think this is fine so this is pretty much done so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and see you on the next one